Hey, Bastish B here for 64K and welcome to another episode of New Retro. So if you've never seen this show before, I take a look at a newly released game on an old classic system. And then we have a look at the game that might have inspired it, the inspiration game. And today's games are... Okay, so let's first check out the original game. Manic Mana was released in 1983 by Bugbot Software on the ZX Spectrum. It immediately became an instant classic on the system and was ported to almost every computer at the time, including the original C64 version. It was programmed by Matthew Smith, whose main character, Mana Willy, would go on to be in two other well-received games of the same style, namely Jet Set Willy 1 and 2. The C64 version was basically a direct port, or as close to the Spectrum look as the Commodore could do. You control Willy as you try to survive up 20 caves full of underground creatures and collect treasures before your air runs out. It required pinpoint accuracy for jumps, a character that dies instantly with one wrong move, and the constant stress of your air ticking down, which made playing it a really tough task. Manic was definitely a product of the European gaming scene at the time, and looks, sounds, and is brutally difficult, and it just fits in with so many games of that time, and was definitely an inspiration for a lot of other games in the similar vein, like Monty on the Run for example. Software Projects did the C64 conversion and they were also responsible for publishing the sequels Jet Set 1 and 2 after Matthew Smith left Bugbot and took the character rights with him. And now let's take a look at the new version. Manic Mana 64DX was released in the last week of December 2019 by programmer Graham Axton, who also did the excellent platform ROM The Bare Essentials, which was released through Pond Software a few years ago on the Commodore 64. This is an unofficial update to the original conversion of Manic Mana to the C64 by Software Projects. First up you'll notice the awesome title loader screen which mimics the original C64 cover for the game. Overall the improvements are many including a much closer look to the original Spectrum version, a vastly improved soundtrack which now sounds more like a C64 game and is a welcome update to your bleeding ears. There is also a built-in trainer menu to help or to cheat your way through this brutally tough game. But the best option is the ability to choose between the original 1983 C64 version or this new updated version, which is an awesome addition. This is a really well-made labor of love to the original and actually made me appreciate just how well designed this game was, especially from a level design point of view. So if you've never played Manic Mana before, then this is an excellent place to start. And you should also check out Graham Axton on Twitter at ZXMutant64 and I'll leave a link in the description and one to the game so be sure to check them out. So you're probably wondering where do I find these games? As for an original copy as per usual eBay is usually your best bet. The prices are all over the place but it's mostly pretty cheap and for the 64DX version it's unofficial so therefore it's free as a digital download and I'll leave a link to csdb.dk so you can get it. And thanks for joining me Bastish B at 64 Okay, if you can like and subscribe, they'll be greatly appreciated and I'll see you next time. Cheers.